Penny. I'm going to show you how to make a St. Patrick's Day gnome. They're pretty simple and pretty cute. I'm going to make you one that looks similar to this with hair and a hat. For materials, you're going to need a white tube sock, a couple of colored socks, glue gun, some string, about a cup and a half of kitty litter. I prefer the fragrance free and that way if you have a pet they won't be attacking your gnome. You need a, a cup or a jar. Of course we need stuffing. A little blush. Scissors. If you're going to make a beard you're going to need a four to five inch square of fur. A little ribbon. Maybe some thread. A little bling. Now I have a shamrock, maybe a pom pom. I've got a little hat for this one. If you want to make the hair, I use four millimeter macrame cord and I cut the pieces 14 inches long. You need nine of them if you want to just make braids. If you want it to go all the way around, you need 18. If you want to make a little pointy hat, a pipe cleaner comes in handy. I have found that working with all this fur, you really need a lint roller. It has become my best friend. Good. You can add fun stuff like, like some goofy glasses. This one I put a crown on. So this is just some ideas of things that you can use. Just use your own imagination. I'm going to do a quick run through on making the basic gnome body. For a more detailed version, please see my first video, Creating Simple Gnomes with Penny. To start with, you're going to take your tube sock and cut it about nine inches from the toe. Take your sock, put it in the cup, pull down the sides, Pour in your cup and a half of kitty litter. Shake it down. Get all that litter down to the bottom. You can use poly bees if you want, but I think cat litter is more dense and it's definitely a lot cheaper. And then we're gonna put in some stuffing. And I kinda go like this to put my stuffing in to get it all spread out. I'm going to reach inside and pinch a nose. You can tie a rubber band around it to start with, but I would definitely tie string around it in case your rubber brand breaks. Sure you make your nose a little bit bigger than you think because it's going to shrink when you tie it off. Right. Top off the stuffing. Tie some string around the top. And then you end up with something that looks like this. See, this looks like a little tuft of hair on the top. So we're gonna glue the, the string down for the nose. Just put a little bit of bead of glue. Just put a little bead of glue on the string to hold the string up around the nose. And then glue the hair down. Now I'm going to put a little blush on the nose. Just take your blush. Just swirl it around. Now we have our basic gnome body. Now we have the main body for our gnome. So for a jacket, I'm going to take a sock and I'm going to cut it right at the heel. Cut it straight across. I'll use the top part for a hat, or I can use the toe of another one for a hat. So I'm going to slip this on. So now we have a little jacket for it. If you want to put a beard on, that would be the next step. I'm going to pull the jacket down a little bit. So if you're going to put a beard on, you take your little square of fur and you fold it in half and then you cut out a notch. So you cut out a notch like this. 
and then you would cut down the size at an angle so you would end up with something that looks like this and this is the front and you take this and you glue this onto the gnome so you put, and then you take the toe of a, another sock and make a little hat out of it or you could use a little hat like this and put that on there if you want hair on it you make the hair out of rope which I'm going to show you here in a few minutes then you could after you put the hair on then you could put a hat on or you could make a sock hat or you could make it without the beard. So that's a real quick run through. Now I'm gonna show you in detail how to make the hair and different kinds of hats. Let's get started. Then you put your sock on for the jacket. I lined that up under the nose. And I just kind of tucked it underneath to fit around it. And I put a little bead of glue around here to make like a collar for it. He'll make it look like he's got a little sweater on. And then I'm going to glue it so that it stays put. Now I'm going to work on the hair. So take the top part of the sock and cut off about two inches. And then I have a piece of cardstock that I've made about the size of the top of the sock. I'm going to turn the sock inside out, stretch it over the paper. So for the hair, you're going to need about nine strips of four millimeter macrame cord. Unless you want to do it all the way around and then you need 18 pieces. So take your 14 inch piece of cord, fold it in half, take your hot glue gun and put a little bead of glue right where the fold is, kind of squeeze it a little bit, and I put a little bit extra glue on there, and then I take this, I lay it right on this. about three quarters of an inch the way up from the bottom. So I'm going to do that with all nine pieces. So we're there we have nine pieces of four millimeter cord. I put some tape down on my paper so that the hot glue doesn't stick to it. This is enough for uh, for braids and if you wanted to make it the hair go all the way around to the back then you'd put twice as much on so I'm going to show you how to do just the braids first so now that I have all of them glued on there I'm going to run a some glue right across the top of all of these and then I'm going to fold this down over it There, I have my bead of glue across the top. I'm going to fold this down. And don't worry about glue in the back, just glue the front. And squeeze it all down. So now I have this nice little headband that I can use for hair. So if you, if you wanted to, you could just put it on like this, just like a headband, part the hair in the middle, and then you could 
So you could use it here like this. And then we're going to put the hat on. And then you could just, just make little ponytails out of it. Put some ribbon on it. Or... do like this and what I did was I separated all of the cords and then if you put it on there then it looks more like hair there we go so then you can leave it or you can break it into three sections and braid it or if you want the hair to go all the way around. See, this is 18 pieces of rope that I've glued on here. And then I folded the top down and glued it. Then, so I'm just showing you the different things that you can do with it. So if you want to leave it like this, or you can separate it. We have this kind of hairdo. So this is what I like to do and then I braid the front part and then leave the back. So it looks like this. So this is the front part braided and then just let the back go. I'm going to show you how to what to do with the rope to make it look like this. So here it is with it all glued down on the top part of the sock. I'm going to take each individual rope and I'm going to twist it. Just pull the three strands apart. It takes a little bit of time to do, but it looks really nice when you get all done. And of course, after you get it on your gnome, you could give it a haircut if you'd like. Take it to the beauty shop. Okay, so let's see that you can see the difference here. You could even make this into a hula skirt if you wanted. I'll just slip it on just like a headband. So I'm going to push this part right down by the nose. I'm going to put some glue all the way around to keep the hair on. Let's see. Make sure it's going to all be under the hat. And put a little bit of glue all the way around the inside. There, have this all glued on. So I have three groups of six strands each. And if, if you don't know how to braid, so I have three groups. Start and pull the outside and put the outside in between the other two and pull it down and then take the outside from the other side and pull it in between the other two and just keep doing that as you work down. Take the outside hair and put it in between the other two so it goes to the middle. So outside, outside, to the middle, outside to the middle, outside to the middle, outside to the middle. Just keep changing sides. There you go. Little piece of string, or you can use a little tiny rubber band, which that works really well. String. So there we have our braids. 
And I have a little piece kind of hanging down. I'm going to kind of trim it a little bit. Even them out just a little bit more. There we go. That's kind of cute. I'm going to take my hat. Now there are lots of different ways of hats that you can use on this. I got this hat at the Dollar Tree and it had a little strap on it so I just took the strap off. So I am just going to glue this down. So I'm going to put a bead of glue all the way around the inside of the rim. So I have glue on the inside of the rim. I'm going to just shove it right down on there. And we're going to decorate the hat a little bit. Got this cute little ribbon. So you can use whatever you want for a shamrock, but you can make one out of felt, um, styrofoam. Anyway, this is one, it was a set of picks that I got at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and so I'm just taking the pick off. And then I have these little bling. I'm just going to put on there. There we go, that looks cute. Need a little ribbon around the pigtails. So this is a nine inch piece of ribbon. I'm just gonna tie this around there. Just put a little dab of glue behind the bows just to keep them in place. And there we have it. Pull this down so I can glue the beard on. So you want to take a little four to five inch square piece of fur and fold it with the right sides together. Make a little a little cut down the middle, about maybe an inch and a half. And then cut a little circle out so it'll fit around the nose. Get rid of your excess fur from on, down this side and down this side. Make sure when you're doing this that you stay really, really close to the backing so you don't cut off all of the long fur that's on the front. There we go, now I have a little shape to my beard. So since it's almost St. Patty's Day, I'm gonna make an orange beard. So I found this blush that has a little bit of orangish tint to it. And I am going to put it, I am going to use this on the beard. And just brush down on it a little bit. Just give it a little bit of color. There we go. Now instead of a white beard, we have orange highlights. So now I'm going to slip this under the nose and I'm going to put a bead of glue and pull it down. I'm going to put a bead of glue right under here and on the sides. Now that I have the beard glued on, I'm going to glue the jacket. So I just put a little bit of glue underneath the front.
front. And then I'm going to glue down the back along the top collar. You can fold the collar however you want. I'm just rolling it. And I'm going to put some glue under here to keep the sides of the beard down. And then a little dab of glue right down the front. Alright, now we're ready to make some hats. So I showed you how to make the hair and put a little hat on it. Now I'm going to show you how to make a hat out of a sock. So you can use any kind of a sock. This just happens to be a footed sock. I'm going to cut this right below the heel. Now there's a few different ways I can make a hat with this sock right now. So the easiest thing to do is to take a little ball of, of stuffing or you could use a cotton ball, a ping pong ball, And then to start with, I like to use a little rubber band to get the shape. So there I have a little ball at the end and then I would tie some ribbon or, or string around it. And put a little bit of stuffing in. And then slip it on like this. Make sure it comes all the way down to the nose. And then I could take a bead of glue, pick up the edge of the hat and glue all the way around. So that would be one style. And if you don't put a bunch of stuffing in it, you could just put it on and just let it flop, which is kind of cute to do too. If you want to make a pointed hat, then you want to turn your sock inside out. And you can do this with a sewing machine or by hand. Flatten it out, start down at the, the very widest part of the opening, and stitch it at an angle across like this. And you can just stitch all the way there and stop there. So this is what it looks like after I've sewed it. So you can see I started at the bottom of the opening. And then I stitched all the way up and I kind of followed the curve of the toe. Now I'm going to cut close to this seam. So there, I've cut, I've cut this part. I didn't cut all the way down here because I'll just use this for part of the stuffing. But you can see the shape of it. I'm going to turn it inside out. Now I ended up with this nice little pointy hat. I like to take a pipe cleaner and fold it in half and twist it and then put it inside the hat because it's really hard to get stuffing down in the point. And then it has a little bend to it too that way. I'm going to put a little stuffing in there. Make sure you cover up the pipe cleaner all the way around. I usually use a white one because my stuffing's white and then you don't really see that it's in there, especially in the lighter colored socks. There we go. So now that I have the hat the way I want it, I could pull it down over the nose, a little glue around the top. And 
and I've got my seam in the back. So I'm gluing this close to the nose and the beard. So I could leave him like this, but I think he needs a little trim. So this is yarn, but it's faux fur yarn. I got it at Joann's. They seem to be the best place to buy it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue all the way around the, the edge of the hat. A little bit across the nose. I need to do this really quick. Got about 30 seconds before the glue dries. I start at the back. Just lay this on there. You can put as many layers as you want around this, but I think one layer is enough for this one. On this one, I wrapped it around twice. So you can decorate your hat however you want. There we go. So I just put a smaller shamrock inside this bigger one, just for a little contrast. Yeah, I just set this right inside the little fur lining. I could put it on the outside of it too, but this is pretty small, so I'm going to make it just look like it's tucked into the hat. This was a package of pom-poms that I got at the Dollar Tree. So let's put a little glue on the end and shove that on there. There we go. Fluff out the beard a little bit. Now we have a gnome with a pointy hat. So if I want to put some fur trim on it, I'm using some Sherpa material and this is a six by 10 inch piece. And I put right sides together and I sewed a seam along it. And then I'm turning it right side out if you fold it in thirds and then place this over. After, I would glue the hat on first, make sure that it's stable, and then I would glue this on and put it right around the nose, glue it all the way around here so that it stays on. And if you roll it in thirds, it just makes it nice and fluffy. So this is another version of the pointy hat and I made this one with a knee sock. I had a lot of fun making these gnomes and one of them in particular I found some glasses like this at the dollar store and I put them on this gnome. For the hair I used a mop and I just cut these off and used them just like I did the rope only I used the mop. So we have these cute little braids and I used a solid color hat because I didn't want to take away from the glasses. On this one, I put a crown on it and it's a kitty. So of course, you know, all cats think that they're princesses. This one, I have some fun hair and I made this hair from a mitt. This is my leftovers from it, but this was a wash mitt that I found at the dollar store. I buy a lot of stuff at the dollar store and so I just cut it in strips and put that around for the hair. I used the scraps from the, from the triangles of the beard and I glued it around the back so I have hair going all the way around it. And then I also wanted to show you this one. This one is just out of a striped sock and I, I just added a shamrock to it so that made it appropriate for St. Patty's Day. Well, I think that's it. I hope you had fun with me and I hope you learned something and maybe we'll make some gnomes for, for Easter. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.